Welcome to Aussie Indian and as you know Sydney Dance Festival is being held at uh, the Seamoth Centre in uh, the Easter weekend and uh, it is uh, bringing some of the very well known dancers, classical dancers that is from India to perform for the Sydney audience and uh, one of those dancers is Pratiksha Ka Kashi. Yeah. Uh, Pratiksha, welcome. Thank you so much and namaste to all of you out there. Pratiksha, uh, is this your first uh, visit to Sydney? Yes, yes. This happens to be my first visit. I'm extremely happy because I've come here to perform as well. So, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful feeling to be here. And we have put on a fantastic weather for you to start yes, with. Yes, yes. You know, in fact, before I came here, I was said that it's a little cold. So usually when I have been to all other foreign countries, it's, it's freezing cold. <laughs> so I was thinking, oh my God, how, is it going to be one of those? But then when I came here, it was so pleasant and I just love the city. Excellent, Absolutely. excellent. And uh, maybe we can start off by asking you about your own background. Uh, when did you s start learning? Oh, well, I think this dates back to even before I was born. Mm -hmm. Because I hail from a traditional classical dance family. Uh, my maternal side is headed by Dr. Gubbi Virana, mm -hmm. who was known as the father of classical theatre, Indian theatre in Karnataka. So I'm a Kuchipudi dancer from Bangalore, the daughter and disciple of Srimati Vajayanti Kashi, who herself is a Kuchipudi exponent. And like I said, culture and art is something that runs in the genes of our family. Mm -hmm. My great grandfather was into theatre and that passed on. So we have great singers, dancers and artists in our family. So even before I was born, my mom, my mother always says that when I was in her womb, when she would dance for this item called Aigiri Nandani, which is uh, yes. quite famous, mm -hmm. she would always feel the kick. Mm. And even till date, Devi items are my favorite. Right. So it started there. And dance was in the family. I used to always watch it. I was exposed to this atmosphere. So it is, it is a part of me. I, now when I see, I feel that it was never something that I had to differentiate and learn as a different entity but it is something which I developed eventually because it runs in the blood and mm -hmm. in the genes. So official training started at the age of five and uh, ever since it's going on and it's a journey, it's a never-ending yes. journey. So, And my dad, Mr. Vijay Kashi, he is a cine artist. He's into small screens and movies, Kannada movies, okay. basically. Mm -hmm. So that's how I think from the maternal side I've taken into dancing and from the paternal side I've taken into acting because I do act in as lead roles in the Kannada okay. daily soaps. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Could you name a few? Yeah, I'm, I'm currently acting in Kadambari Kanaja, mm -hmm. which comes on Udya TV at 8.30 p.m. Right. I'm playing the lead role. And I also did an art movie called Prakruti, which recently won the award for screenplay. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, you are a celebrity in your own right and uh, uh, glad to know that uh, you have got that family background. And uh, the, at what age did they introduce you? Of course, you said uh, right from the womb, the yeah. passion started. Yes. Uh, but actual practice and learning, uh, how has been the journey? Uh, I started at the age of five, when I was five years young. Okay. So I still remember the, I think the beginning was very interesting, which I would like to quote. Mm -hmm. So there was this dance production called Ambe. It was on this mythological character called Amba from Mahabharat. Right. So the story was centered around her. And this was my first drama, dance drama, which I witnessed as a kid. And I used to, I was immense in, immensely in love with it. Mm -hmm. So when this was being staged by my mother's ensemble, my mom runs an institution called Shambhavi Dance Theatre, Shambhavi School of Dance. So when they were performing, I just ran onto the stage apparently. Right. Okay. So my dad was holding on to me and I was like, no, I have to go. I bit him and I just ran <laughs> onto the stage and that's when, that's where actually my first uh, practice started. Oh, really? And then I was five years then. Oh, so okay. that's has been my start. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, it's an uh, absolutely fascinating story. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, uh, Sydney Dance Festival is something which uh, is an inaugural event. Uh, are you happy to come back? Uh, uh, come to Sydney and perform uh, for uh, the Sydney audience? Oh, definitely. I'm actually waiting to perform for them because even before I came, 
uh, Kalpana aunty, Kalpana, mm-hmm. who is the director of Madhuram Academy yes, of Performing yes. Arts and also Bharti Vidya Bhavan, the cultural yes. wing. Mm-hmm. She called me and she was like, we are doing a dance festival for youngsters, for upcoming artists mm-hmm. in Sydney to introduce. Would you be happy? I was, I was extremely thrilled. Yes. Because as a dancer and as a person, I believe in the art of sharing. Uh, my experiences, my something that's so so close to me, mm. my dance with people, because the experience of being a dancer is beautiful, and I would like to share the same with as many people as possible mm. in different countries. Mm. And Sydney, being one of the most beautiful cities of the world, you know, I was very eager. Mm. So thanks to Madhuram and thanks to Bharti Vidya Bhavan for having invited us, because trust me. Having been from the classical family and having seen my mother organize, it's definitely not an easy task to put up such a big festival like this. Yeah, and in yeah. such an organized and such a nice way. So mm-hmm. almost, I'm sure all the artists will say we feel so much at home here. Oh, That's good. been the way they're, they're treating us. <laughs> Excellent. Um, well, uh, if you go back to you know the dance origins of uh, classical dance, uh, some people say that it originated in the temples of yes. India. But uh, these dance forms, uh, Kuchipudi, Kathak, Bharatanatyam, Mohaniyattam, all these were uh, confined to a particular region of India, wasn't it? Yes, yes. So, initially, uh, from what I understand, dance, w- dance didn't have any particular form. When, uh, in the olden days, when people used to dance in the temples, there was no name to it. Mm. There was no particular form. Even before the states, it's, it was only later that states came into picture, into the geography. Yes. But before that, it was just called a classical dance. And the main essence of classical dance forms has always been the divinity, the divine aspect, the spiritual aspect. Which later on, when the, when India was divided into different states, it was then that actually these the classical dance form got, diff- got different names. Mm-hmm. And that's when each style became distinct in its own way according to the culture in okay. that particular state mm-hmm. and uh, the major para practices and then eventually from the divinity aspect dance also started inculcating the different aspects because okay. earlier when uh, the dance was only confined to the temple dancers that was the first stage and after that when the kings started patronizing art there were many dance forms which catered to the uh, to uh, hailing and praising the kings. Mm. So the king became the hero. Right. Earlier, the gods were the hero. So these way, this way, there has been an intermingling of both uh, different aspects. Very well said. Uh, as they say, every day is a learning process. Uh, I'm learning a lot. And uh, of course, what's the speciality of Kuchipudi dance? Okay, so uh, let me just tell you a little about the origin of Kuchipudi because mm-hmm. it's very interesting, I would say. Kuchipudi originated from this tiny village called Kuchipudi. Okay. So Kuchipudi gets its name from this village. Mm-hmm. So this is in Which the part of India? this is in the Krishna district of Andhra Pradesh. Okay. So Kuchipudi originates from Andhra Pradesh right. basically. And the interesting part of this art form is it was mainly a man, male dominated art form. Mm-hmm. So it was practiced and performed only by Brahmin male dancers. Right. And it was always performed in groups. That's why we call it the Natya Mela. Oh, okay. So Kuchipudi was a Bhagavata Mela, where which was always, it, it has a lot of dramatic elements, a mm-hmm. lot of Yakshagana elements that we oh, would okay. say. So as a dance form from its origin, it was only the male dancers who danced in the group. So that was the speciality earlier. And to an extent that even the female roles were donned by men. Right. So that's why if you get, they go back to the books of uh, the Kuchipati dance, you'll see male dancers being dressed like women and doing mm. all the yeah. women aspects. But later on, it was people who introduced women into this dance, dance form. And as you see today, it's mainly become a solo dance mm. form. It's eventually evolved. Of course, uh, the group art form and all the kalapams do form a major aspect of Kuchipudi because that's its origin. We can never leave that. But Mm. it has also added different elements and dimensions to it. Like you said, each day is an evolution, right? (laughs) Very well explained indeed. And uh, of course, uh, what would you be performing at the Sydney Dance Festival? Okay. Uh, I have lined up, I have tried to mix all the main elements of Kuchipudi. Kuchipudi known for its dramatic elements. I am doing the Dashavatara Shabdham, which shows the ten incarnations of Lord Vishnu to, to come and say make the world a better place to mm-hmm. live in. I've also, this involves the dramatic elements. I have involved the Lasya 
or the feminine aspect of Kuchipudi mm -hmm. through the main heroine, Satyabhama. Right. So Satyabhama is this mythological character who is mainly talked about. She is the heroine of Kuchipudi. Mm -hmm. So I'll be presenting one item on that because mainly because I heard Kalpana auntie told me that Bama Kalapam is something that Sydney dance, yeah. Sydney viewers would love to watch. Mm -hmm. So I've got this especially for them. Mm -hmm. And th of course, Tarangam, which is the main, uh, which is a highlighting feature of Kuchipudi. Tarangam is when a dancer dances on the rim of a brass plate. I've got the brass plate if you want me to show. Mm -hmm. So uh, the dancer dances on the rim of the brass plate. So this shows the balance that a dancer need to have right. and if you extrapolate this to life each of us should need this balance in life to maintain both the you know happy moments and the not so happy mm -hmm. moments so life is all about balancing mm -hmm. so i've included the tarangam for them and of course abhinaya which is i think lau or shringara rasa is the main rasa mm -hmm. maybe for a dancer or a non-dancer so i have included a javali uh, which is an Abhinaya yeah, piece. Yeah. So it's a mix of Lasya, the feminine aspect, the manly aspect, that's the Thandava, which is brought to you in a Shiva item, and the Tarangam. So everything put together. I've tried to do uh, a blend of the needed things oh, okay. in this in Sydney Dance Festival. Yeah. I'm sure uh, it's going to be very exciting. And uh, of course, there are a lot of uh, youngsters here in uh, Sydney, for example, who are learning dance, various forms of dance, including Kuchpuri. What kind of advice would you like to give? You yourself, you are a very young dancer, uh, but at the same time, maybe there are, uh, you have already reached a certain stage and it has taken um, some amount of effort, I'm sure. What kind of advice would you give to those uh, young dancers in Sydney? Yeah. Uh, before moving on to the advice, I would sincerely appreciate would like to appreciate them because trust me being away being uh, not being in india and to still practice a dance form is something which definitely needs appreciation yes. because many foreigners do come down to how many of us actually move to another country just to learn an yeah, art yeah, so i i really I, I get mesmerized when i see people coming all the way to india to learn dance form this dance form and for all the upcoming artists i would say just don't give up because there is a misconception that classical dance, Kuchipudi being a strictly a classical dance form, is very difficult to learn. Uh, this is the kind of pe thing people think, you know, classical dances are difficult to understand, but this is, I would say, a misconception. Really? Because mm -hmm. for dancers or for artists who love it, you know, the only thing that needs is to just fall in love with it. Because once you fall in love with something, it's no more difficult. You would want to learn it, you would want to explore it more. I think that's the key. Just mm -hmm. fall in love with it. Mm. If there is one message you want to send out to our Sydney viewers, what would that be, Pratiksha? <laughs> well, I'm really excited. And I, I would request all of you to come and attend this beautiful Sydney Dance Festival being organized by Madhuram in association with Bharati Vidya Bhavan on the 19th and 20th of April. So please do come, watch, and inspire us through your presence. Pratiksha, thanks very much. All the very best uh, when you get on the stage. Yeah, thank you so much for having this for me.